It's a little hard for you guys to see him, but if you guys can tell right here next to my My Hero pillow, that is my boy Senku. We got the Ishigami Chief Man Village Leader himself up here. I am so hyped for season two of this. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again. Dr. Stone, season two. Super excited for this. Now, some of you guys have been wondering where a lot of the re-uploads for all the videos that were taken down on Vimeo, stuff like that. I am currently re-uploading that. Stuff like Dr. Stone Season 1, Promised Neverland, some of the Gurren Lagann redirects, Overlord, stuff like that. Just letting you guys know, hopefully by the end of January, that's all uploaded. I just got to get those off my old hard drive. It's a little bit tedious, but uh, I'm working on that. With Dr. Stone, we ended off with that beautiful record that Byakuya was able to make under, he left under his grave. He had so much hope and faith that Senku would make it back and I, I love that. But that whole, the whole village like plot twist that ended up being his dad and then the, the other five uh, astronauts who ended up, like, that was just, I love that whole side story of the show, I really did. But we ended up making a, a one cell phone. We need to make another one, but there might be a time skip. I don't know what's gonna happen, but we're literally right at the part where there's the Stone Wars are about to get into it. I did hear this season is going to be 11 episodes, which kind of bums me out. But at the end of the day, if the Stone Wars arc is just a smaller arc and we can move on from this, or maybe this might be the end of the show, it, it depends on how it's done. If they wrap it up well, I mean, Attack on Titan season four is only 16 episodes. I want that to be like 75. So, you know, you get, you know, I don't throw a fit. I get what I get. You know what I'm saying? Uh, with first and last episode of this, any season of any show I watch, the full length, which is only normally available on Patreon, is available to all you guys for free. So make sure to click that link in the description for the full length. If you guys like that format, want to continue that with all the other shows, make sure to check out that Patreon. Always is available for you guys. If you guys want to support me and Patreon's not really your thing, if you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment, it really does help me with with the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much. Don't forget to follow me on all my socials, Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch at Dapper Darius. Let's hop into this. Dr. Stone, season two, episode one. Does it have a title? Uh, Stone Wars Beginning. Oh yeah, we're in there. My boy again. Yeah. I, and I, we haven't even really touched on the cause yet. Like that's where this show could go. We really haven't found out the cause of this yet. We still have no idea. I love when an anime gets you back into it in the first episode, a little mini recap. Senku-chan! Sen I love uh, Gen's voice actor. Really good. <laughs> oh, he's telling the recap. I love that. They're like the kids. That's cool. Come on, give me the details. Okay. Space food? Yeah, like, I, I, my face is very similar to Gen's. I'm like... I guess fighting in a battle of attrition, long-term, sieging, whatever, would you would definitely need, you know, food that lasts a long time. See, that's one thing I love about this show. Everything is different. It's in a stone world. That's true. In any sort of battle. Makes a whole lot of sense. Alright, I always pause it um, and look at these. So we get we have our foxtail. I don't know if it's pronounced millet or millet ramen that we we started with, you know. But from then we get the portable containers from the trees and some rope. Uh huh. Snow. Um, the water wheel to get our vacuum tubes. We get some pumps from our iron. Yep, yep, yep. Sounds good. And then we just use all that together. So pretty much just portable container with our food with the vacuum container. I mean, it makes sense. I like it. I like it. The ultimate dehydration. Yep. <laughs> I could see how that would be confusing. We know Koski's always up for any challenge. He loves it. That's why. <laughs> It's weird that this is happening in this show because, like, on I randomly got recommended on YouTube some like uh, uh, army MREs, which is you know the army guys who that's their like medi 
meal ready whatever food that's kind of like literally like space food they can eat it heat it up within like a second but it's like weird because the bag that they use like it really gets boiling hot for like a second it really does cook so it's like it's exactly like this so it's weird that youtube recommended me that and it gave me context for this because it helps me understand this i'm just i just think that's i had to get out that off my chest because this is like used now like they do this now like this is a real viable strategy that is used in active combat to this day. Oh. That's a genius. Freeze dry. That's genius. Cup noodles would be the perfect war fucking thing. Uh huh. That is true. The heaviest part of most of it would be the water, right? And for it to, you know, this is definitely complicated, but I, I love it. I, even though this is a different season, season two, this feels no different from season one. This feels like we literally are exactly where we left off, and I love it. Same vibe, same music, same characters, everything. So now we just have to add hot water to it, and it'll be done within, what, three, four minutes? Yep. It's literally my man made cup of noodles in the stone world. They even have like the fat glistening on the water at the top. I'm like Jesus. <laughs> you know, I won't lie. I have some cup noodles downstairs. I might have to have some. This might put me in the mood to have some cup noodles for lunch. And even I saw again drinking his uh, Senku Cola. That's dope. Oh, uh, were they talking about? Did he try his his space ramen? What was he saying? I'm saying, man, Pops is a real one. Enlighten me, Senku. But how do we stop? How do we stop Sukasa, though? Isn't he constantly going to be on the lookout for us and trying to murder us? I can't believe we have two parties of side characters who are so close to our main character that haven't met yet. Ooh. Lillian with them vocals. The official background music. <laughs> yeah, it reminds me of when I worked at like Nordstrom. There was always background music, you know? Kasaki's probably my favorite. I love this old man. What what just clicked? I hate when they click because I'm nowhere near these people's levels of intelligence. So I hate when it clicks to them. It never clicks to me. I want to click. Oh, it's Gen. He has to talk about what clicked, right? <laughs> Sounds about right. Okay, it has to be some sort of crazy plan if you guaranteed are going to hell together. What plan? What? We need the phones and we need the recorder. That is facts. The world of science and the world of religion do not coincide. Definitely not. <laughs> What's the unifying that brings his unarguable strength? Ooh, nope. Hot chicks, nope. That would be my guess, C. 
Lillian. There are guys who can most definitely do that. He's an impressionist. He's as good at impressions. That was... Wow. Okay. But with the audio quality... Yeah. Only she can pull off. Start it with that. Confirm it is her, right? And then you do this where it sounds somewhat... You're not going to be able to tell, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And especially because Lillian was from America, too. And they're in Japan. Yeah. No, that would... Wow, that's actually a plan nowhere even in the realm of possibility I would think of, but it's actually really smart and works out really well. Yes, but you're besmirching the name of a deceased woman who helped create the foundation of this village. I can't get past that, that is so weird to me. You know what? Something tells me it's not gonna go that easy. True. Like vigilantes, they're willing to take the hate to do what is needed to be done, you know? Alright. Gen and Senku, they could do it, maybe, for sure, but with my boy Chrome, that's a whole different ball game. Hell yeah. My boys right there. Man, we're already at the end of the episode? That felt like it was five minutes! The mixed gas you get is called detonating gas. Put it in a balloon, like one made out of a deer's bladder, and if you got a wimpy bomb that makes a sound bomb. Of course, Ginro is going to be the one doing it. All right, all right. The introduction Stone Wars begin. All right, we're in there. Hell yeah. All right, it's probably the opening. They always do the opening at the end of the first one. Well, for uh, getting us into the season, for uh, getting us back in their episode, it was fantastic. Loved it. Uh, it was, like I said, during the episode, it felt like a direct continuation. Like, all of our people are still the same. Music's still the same. Still the same inventions. Crazy ass shit. Like, what's the next thing we need after a cell phone, Senku? Uh, uh freeze-dried ramen, cup noodles. Uh-huh. Which, when they explain it, makes so much sense why you would need it, especially, like... Like, if you're talking about a fight, like, if we're going to do a mission, like, like, if it wasn't during the Stone Age, if it was during now when we had guns, we could just go in there, the whole thing would take a couple hours, it'd be over and done with. But in the Stone Age, a battle or a war can take weeks, can take months, you never know. So having this ability to be able to eat and get all you need within that quick of a time frame is, is definitely game-changing, which is just, like, the little things that I would never have thought of, which I love, I love. So... Uh, like I said, I'm curious to see more of the characters' backstories because the opening, what I assume is the opening because it was at the end, showed some of that, I assume. Um, can't wait to find out more about Tsukasa and Hyoga, their little armada of people because they have like an archer, they have so many. I want to see Taiju use Uriha again. I love how we have two main squads who still haven't met yet. I cannot wait for them to meet. Like, there's a lot I'm looking forward to for only 10 more episodes. So, yeah, I'm a little bummed, but hey, it's going to be a fantastic 10 episodes. And if it's more, then I've already set myself up for excitement because I'm already convinced it's 11. So, hey, if it's more, 
I'm the true winner here. So um, with that being said, uh, I'm going to go do some more videos. Thank you so much, Dapper Squad. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your comments down below. Uh, if you guys want full-length early access to all the other shows I'm watching, make sure to check out the Patreon. Other than that, I'll see you guys later. Peace out, Dapper Squad.